Hello everyone and welcome back to more Amnesia, a machine for pigs. Where we last left off, we had found that there is an entire colony of piggy friends underneath the church and the factory. And I last left off right outside the bilge, so we are going to dive right back in and continue on into the depths of the beast. I love coffee. Coffee is what gets me through the day. Without fail. It's also what gets me through this. God. Why do you want to be in front of the TV right now? No, what? Ah, oh, so it dropped us back to the beginning. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Indeed it is, and it's really, really annoying right now that I have to redo all of this, but at least there will be no surprises. And I can basically just speed run my way through this. First Lewis gate open. Sound cut out there real quick. That's kind of annoying. Uh huh. For those who are joining right now, um, so apparently my save file was messed up and it jumped me back to the beginning of this area and deleted all of my progress up past this point. So if you want to see me read the notes and stuff just go to the end of the fur of the previous video and we'll be good to go because I am just powering on through this so we can actually get to story progression and stuff there it is is it over here no You can't touch me, so it really doesn't matter what you do now, is it? No, that's where I came in. Crap. Nope. Gramophone, think of a Jacob. But we can save them. We can set them free. And then also, I was noticing that in my previous videos, it um, is a bit too dark in certain areas when I have my lantern out. And so I have turned up the brightness just a little bit in hopes that it won't take away from my experience, but will allow you to be able to see it a bit better on this adventure. 
is not the first great civilization he had left for. And so you said about things that you were to Naturally, naturally, these things cannot be left to rot upon the... That's right, yeah, okay, I already read that too. Sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. Crap, can't go that way. Got turned around. There it is, there's the exit. That's annoying. Flicker all you want. I know there's nothing here that touches me right now. Yep. We've already seen all of this, but I'm going to just look over it one more time because this is absolutely terrifying. Really bad. Like, look at that thing. And that's also the point where I watched it again. Again, I watched it in the previous video, but um, if you can't see it from that angle, but there are two pigs down there, a smaller one, and then that big fat one we saw, and he actually throws the smaller one out of his path and continues walking. So it kind of shows a pretty interesting disdain. And this one plays with blocks, like a little kid. He's just sitting there stacking stuff. Wait, what are you doing? He had like, he has like a doll or something. I didn't notice that before. And then right in here, this is fun. Fall damage. That's a dead end, my bad. Going into blind territory. Yeah. Guess it doesn't matter which way I go. For a system of pipes, there's way too many ladders, but I guess there has to be maintenance access somehow. But God, ladders. I think they would have like made the openings for maintenance just a bit bigger so they could stick like a ladder and then a fireman's pole next to the ladder so you could just shoop down. I think I see the bottom. to spine, a skin of a shroud, a stump of the bled, old lilies fly-blown, old lilies 
is dead, and dreams of the jungle will flood through her head and light up her head. All right. It's also really, really creepy that, I mean, I realized this yesterday, but you named the contraption after your dead wife. Hey, a new trophy. So I guess I've never progressed up to this point before. Okay. You seem to have undergone quite a profound conversion in Mexico, Mr. Murphy. You could not have seen it yourself and not, Professor. As we disembarked, even through my fever, I saw the detritus of this so-called progress. I saw starvation and disease, rot and destruction, polluting the waters of the Empire. We are ruiners, you and I. I hope I don't have to go down there. We make the world unclean, and you took it upon yourself to act as Redeemer. Professor, I would not be so presumptuous. Ooh. I am merely a conduit. I am constructing an architecture to wrestle our damnation to the ground and smother it with steam. He's here! Don't say that. What if there's something else besides you down here? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Creepy little child. There he goes. The pump rooms. These must be the bilge pumps. I am at the heart of the saboteur's efforts. In order to keep his flood in place, he must have disabled these vast pumps. But he was clearly rushed. Thus far, he has left most of his work in his clumsy efforts reduced to simply switching off all he could find. If I can locate the controls, the remedy will be simple. Crap. Ah, uh, you can't touch me. Because I'm still on a platform that's not in the water. But I have a feeling that's going to change so very soon. That is a moment I dread. I had the trick with the still waters. I dragged myself deep into the temple, down ever, towards a wind that held the voices of my children, beckoning me to set them free. And now, fun. Okay, I saw that. Um, and now, fun question. Um, so for the next game that I play through, it could either be I saw a game in the store called South of Nowhere that is an interesting first person horror experience, or it looks like anyway, or I could do Justine, which would also be a blind playthrough. So, you know, if anybody has any opinions on that, that's cool. And I will take those into consideration. Nobody says anything, well, I'm probably going to end up doing South of Nowhere, because that looks... No. Bad. Okay, off we go, then. What the fuck was that? Really going to pull a fucking fear on me? Like, really? Ah. Oh, is this one of those magic cabinets that only the end one opens? Yep. Is there anything over there? No? Triple, double, check. Okay, I can't get back there. That's fine. Auxiliary pump control. Stop. Ensure all wheels are in place for correct operation of pumps. Maybe? hidey hole right here. Which is rather concerning. What do I do? Just rotate that? I think that did it. Okay. Wait. Oh, so I just have to go back. Okay. Oh, 
Okay, that was stupid of me. I don't know why I expected to be able to walk through that. Oh, I can't go that way anymore. Main pump room. Valves and pipes. Another pump. It seems once again I must engage it. I cannot help but feel I am trapped in some great game, forced to undertake endless Herculean labors for the promised reward of my darling children. Or you're going to find out that I was right and they're dead as fuck. Either or. Um, you see, it's a big circle. And that really just makes me think that I'm going to have to kite something this room. I can't go that way. It's steamed up. Back this way. And I really don't want to have to... Fuck! Oh, no. Oh, dicks. Oh, dicks. Oh, dicks. Oh, dicks. Oh, dicks. Oh, shit. I'm boned. I'm boned. I'm boned. Maybe not. I told you. I told you I was gonna fall in the water at some point. I knew it. I knew it was coming. I seen it. Oh my god. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Moving on. I don't want to go down there. But it looks like I have to go down there at some point. It's not giving me the option to climb it. It, it just did, but I'm going to see if I can activate the pumps first. If that's what it wants me to do. I need to activate the pumps. I think. Yeah, I should have to. Main pump controls. There we go. That's what I want. Look at that. Down at the very bottom, which means I wonder what's in the next area. It's probably hell. That's that's probably what it is. It's probably the seven circle of hell. Yep, this one I gotta fix. Okay. Get in there. Those are doors, aren't they? Those are doors. And when I get everything taken care of, it's going to open up and a pig's going to come out and chase me. And it's going to suck. Okay. Okay, I guess not. I guess not. Okay. I guess not. I am so happy to be wrong in these instances. But now I have to go down the ladder, and I don't want to go down the ladder, because down the ladder means there's water down here. Shit. Uh, how does one get out of this? So that was pointless, aside from being absolutely terrifying. Cool. Cool. Or maybe it's a hidey hole that I could dive down if something starts to chase me. <sighs> Gotta use my noggin. Alright, then I guess my choice is to go back this way again. Finding the children. The flood is drained. I have prevailed. The saboteur is beaten. My heart pounds with excitement, even as my head spins and shudders in feverish anticipation. How this machine now throbs about me, sensing its rebirth is imminent. The final descent beckons me to enter, as Lily once lay on our wedding bed and summoned me into manhood. That's... Okay. 
Okay, that's an interesting analogy to use there, bud, but okay. Whatever. Not that way. Okay. Not that way either. Now I'm confused. Oh, does it want me to go back down? Oh, well, the water's been drained. Great. Okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, you can't touch me now! Doesn't mean there isn't anything else in here that can touch me. Ooh, a door! Yeah, you can't scare me. Let me out, let me out, let me out. children dancing. They pulled the child loose from the thresher, or at least what was left. More where that came from, said the foreman, apologizing for the inconvenience. Jesus Christ, that's an inconvenience? I don't like this music at all. Okay, note. Yeah. March 15th, 1899. Curled into my bunk, all slick, sick and sweat ridden. They cleaned my room about me, but I could only hear the voice from within the gentlest of stones. It sings to me, and I dreamt of a great machine. We will build a new world from the ruins of the old. We will plant flowers in the rotten rib cage and let them grow to hold the sky from falling. I remember how it whispered to me as we rolled sick and heaving, and I remember when we pulled into Southampton and we both wept, for it was every bit as much a desecration as had been sung to me. And then when we came to London, I set it upon the mantelpiece and went into the house and gathered all the servants and set on recrafting them. And then I went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls under the weeping bulges of the rhododendrons. So his kids are dead. Right? That's what that was? That's, that's what he meant by tiny skulls? And all these pig people were once his servants? The heart of the machine. And when they first said daddy, my heart was molten, as if blood frozen upon the ground were held to the sun to thaw and slop. And they were inseparable, always together, one soul and two bodies, and my love was all consuming. I would die for you, I whispered to their sleeping faces. I would kill. I would set this world to ruin to protect you. I have fought through dark tunnels. Great engines, the foulest of beasts, I have set my covenant and drained this flood, and I am come for you now, my darling boys. Okay, I mean, devoted father, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. You're still an abusive control freak, I haven't forgotten. 
stop. No unauthorized persons to enter the facility by order of management. Just a dead end. And you came, Felton Mando, and you set me upon a mantelpiece, and then you went into the house and gathered the servants and reset you and I on recrafting them. And then you went into the garden and buried those tiny shattered skulls. World's longest staircase. Oh, jeez. This is all so ominous and creepy. This place is enormous, and what is it for? Like, I still don't understand the entire purpose of the machine. This looks like a control room of some sorts, so let's find out. I tried. I tried so hard. I will uphold my promise. I will always protect them for you. My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I will rip them loose from this rotten world and set them to burn. All to save them. Alright. And I can't go up there. Okay. So what do I do? Okay. That did nothing. Answers elsewhere, perhaps? Alright. Down we go. All right. What does that say? I can't read it. Let me... Rod control room. process is completely humane. Humane, Professor? That we judge the acceptable level of suffering by the human condition? Ask the beggar, Professor. Ask the orphan. Ask the whore. Ask the starving, Professor. The weak, the sick, the filthy. Ask them to define your humane.
down we go to fix rods two and six. Danger, compound X, highly flammable, highly corrosive, and highly toxic. Ignition control. Now to find the ignition controls and start the machine once more. Elated, I stride forth upon these catwalks. I am coming, my darlings. I have almost saved you. And again, I'm already calling it. His kids are dead. And they're, it's probably his fault. This is the machine from the beginning. Set them free. Set them all free. Why do I have a feeling something really bad happens when I throw this lever? Well, only one way to find out. Push the button. Wait, what? I just didn't expect them to peer in front of me and pull their hearts out of their own chests. Mandus, saboteur, returning from Mexico, I was struck again by London's filth. The squalor, the miasma, the rot. We should cut free the dead flesh, allow this wound to heal anew. I called it. I am a crazy person, and my theory was correct. I am the saboteur. Because... Activating this machine has done something absolutely horrible. And we're about to find out what it is. I 
and emerging. I raised my head to an uncaring sun, and I cursed this world of pain and despair. This civilization built on the ricketed bones of the unfortunate, on the greed and swell of mammon and empire. Cradling a stone egg in my jacket, I kissed my children farewell, and I crawled my way home. Oh, come on, man. Go away. Oh, there's another pig mask. And a note. That's a whole bunch of them. 29th of December, 1899. Can a man construct himself anew? Can a man, on realizing who he is, on what he has become, tear himself apart down to the bricks and begin again? Are our souls just this, tiny cogwheels and clockwork and intricate machines to serve a function that, upon reflection, we might set to a new task? Can a man, defined by his actions, defined by that which he now finds abhorrent, set to sabotaging this body his machine, until those children of his soul turn in new motion and he may awake to a new sun, a new year, a new century with hope in his heart. As I reach my hands to the exposed wires, I ask myself this. Is redemption possible for such a creature as I? And if not, then surely better to die amongst my creations than to continue to live as a monster. For those who are joining now or possibly returning, I had to I activated the machine and it triggered a cataclysmic event. And we're currently about to find out what it is. Betrayed. So it is done. The saboteur was me and the voice on the telephone was him. But what of us? How do we connect? Surely I cannot be responsible for all I see about me. I cannot remember. I cannot remember. All I can grasp is a moment when the world split into two pieces and the innards of humanity fell from an orifice torn agape into my open, bifurcated heart. So... Split personality disorder? Steam vent access, only at low pressure. August 31st, 1899. Children really are the most wonderful, useful creatures. The unfortunates from the orphanage have proved indispensable in cleaning the larger steam pipes. It appears that matter from the slaughtering process may indeed vaporize at source, but drifts like dust through the air and lodges in the pipes, causing them to foul. Periodically, we shut the pressure down and send one of our pixies into the pipes to scrub the reconstituted fat away. Armed with a short broom, our little explorers venture into the dark. Of course, we can only keep pressure down for a short period, so they must be fast or they risk being trapped and boiled by the superheated vapors when they rush back into the system. Then we will be sending their comrades in afterwards to scrape free the cooling mess. The survivors tell me you can reach all manner of places within the complex through the pipes. I smile, tell them I am so proud, and then feed them to the pigs. You are a horrible, horrible individual. Okay. Not only are we going to use children to do their dirty work, and then we're going to potentially, you know, oh yeah, you got to be quick, otherwise we're going to boil you alive, and I don't give a damn about it. <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do? Automatic pressure regulator shut off. Oh. Oh, I get it. I'm supposed to turn off all the thingies. Okay. Oops! My bad. Oh no. Did I break it? Good. What are you doing with me, Piggy? Do you think I will allow you to sabotage me again? The fuck are you gonna do about it? You unholy bastard!
tell you what you're going to do about it. Probably unleash an army of pig things on me. And bear pig things. Wait, where the hell am I? What is this? What's going on? I went back the way I came like a dummy. How do I access? Is there like a magic button that I missed? Am I blind? Can I just get... Oh, I can just squeeze through. Yeah. I think it is. Alright, what's going on? Come on. I have no idea what the hell's going on here. I can't see. That's the way I came. How do I progress? It would be helpful if you would stop. Okay, I just... No. Crouch. Crouch and go. God. What just happened? Am I dead? Oh, gods. What the? December 1st, 1899. There is a spoon of medicine, I says, and it's a silver spoon. What did you get? Born holding. Ever so painful for mummy, dear, but grasped so hard it was in a little screaming red fist. Later you used your spoon to dig a hole in the garden to get all the way to Mexico. And then you did eat worms with your spoon on the way to stay fat. This spoon was the same you gave your twins, then you used it to dig a hole to their clockwork souls, and you ate up their hearts like soup on the way to keep you fat. Fat little mole, where you, where will you dig next, I asks. You and your little silver spoon made from the sp silver spine of your children, and wrapped in the hair of your dearly departed. Dear sweet Jesus, my darling Lilibeth, what am I become? Uh, psycho crazy bonkers is what you have become. And I assume I am to go up. I can't access my journal while I'm on here. Nope, I gotta turn off steam and stuff. Okay. Which means I gotta avoid a pig down here. Escape through the pipes in the throes of my evil, I sent my children into the pipes to clean them, and it seems likely there is another entrance I can use to escape this noxious maelstrom of engines. I will ignore the burning in my nostrils from the fumes of that godless compound X that fuels these machines, and I will become the saboteur. I will destroy the pressure system, enabling me to enter the pipes without fear. Steam vents. All about me. The thunder of machinery. The blasts of boiling steam. I cannot f pass without fear of scalding. I am a lobster. Cracked. My circulation stagnated. My vital motions impeded. The steam will boil my hole unless I find a way to shut it off. And there's a pig down here already. I watched him walk by when I woke up. And he's gonna be here somewhere to chew off my face. Danger. Ensure conduits are correctly placed to avoid pressure back drafts. Child fatalities this month, 17. That's loud. 
Nandus is the saboteur. It seems that the pressure system is indeed the Achilles heel of this facility. Sometimes I clearly did not realize in my first clumsy attempt at sabotage. If I reroute the steam, I can wreak havoc. That's great. That's great. Okay. I still haven't seen the pig. Not that I want to. Okay, can't go that way just yet. Is that open? Stop just for a minute. Maybe I have to take this with me somewhere. Maybe. It's like, let's see where this goes. Yep, multiple pipes. out of everything, uh, breaking all the pipes, and screwing up the machine. Shooby dooby dooby. Also, it appears I cannot run anywhere near as fast as I could like five minutes ago, so yay. Where's that stupid thing on the bob? It's over here. Yeah. Uh, the pressure regulator. Some form of steam regulator. I'll wager if I disable it, the damage caused by the rushing steam pressure could be catastrophic. Certainly enough to force a temporary stalling of this entire engine. That should cease the steam pressure to drop. Mandus, you clever old goat. I can feel this horror, this grief, this betrayal boil into fury. I will not stand. I will not be undertrodden. If this machine is my heirloom, I am the overman. Cool. How do I break this? There's a pig. There's another pig. There's another pig. They're everywhere. They're all around me. The pigs, the pigs. Wandering in the halls. They're gonna fucking eat my face. They're gonna fucking eat my face. Okay, I'm out. Off I go, off I go. I am out of this hellish hole. Can I go that way? I could, but I don't want to, so let's go. Dead end. Into the pipes and out of the engines. Now quickly through the pipes before the pressure returns and they fill with boiling corrosive steam. I sense the machine snarl itself about me. It's unholy, inhuman mind, coil and slick, and send its dark tendrils through its conduits to repair the damage. I will return to the streets, I will fetch help, and I shall lead the people upon the factory. Burn it to the ground and seal this evil place underground forever. Great. Okay, I got it. Point made. How do I get out? This is where this is where you trained it to be. I would stop you. I would save them. It begins. My work has begun. Kill them, my bees. Kill them all. Oh, I unleashed all of the man bear pigs. That's what I did. That's what turning on the machine does. Anything to save them. 
Burn away, burn away the remnants, the parts that will not process, the waste, the offal of your world. They grit the system and stick the wheels to the temple floor. Trophy, the entrails. Oh, damn it. Never mind, I thought it was going to fall back down. Oh. you naked? October 25th, 1899. No one misses the poor. Round up some orphans and the world will thank you for it. Disappear a whore and a gentleman applauds you. Call a beggar, call a beggar, and a lady walks safely again. I hate them. I hate them more than any of the others. This privilege, this pretension, these so-called leaders, these pillars of society, these rich and fanciful. They wear their filth on the outside, but they are no less dirty. I have plans for them all. We will feed them then we will feed from them. Uh, cannibalism. Boobity boobity. Oh. <laughs> Thought he'd poke out. London's burning, London's burning. God forgive me what I have unleashed. I stand and smell the burning city. I see ash upon the wind. I hear the roars of the sickening beasts and the screams as they fall upon the city and drag its people below for the slaughter. Now I begin to understand what the other composite ingredients of Compound X must be. And I also understand this. It is my responsibility now. I must find a way back to the heart of the machine and complete what I started. What? Oh, I have to go back and finish breaking it to pieces, is what you're saying? Want me to finish breaking the machine? Ooh, a note. 
October 24th, 1899. We have set aside an entire wing of the mansion for their parties. We invite them from near and far, and we guzzle them in with fine wine and the finest cuts in all of London. My God, Mandis, but these chops are rather divine. Who is your butcher? Feed them up for the wine, and the grains will also lend a character to the product to keep the flesh relaxed. Opium in the champagne and gravy, a hog roast every night for the Duke and the Duchess. An actress battered and sliced, an artisan in every mouthful, an importer of fine tea stewed in his own leaves. They bicker and breed under the table, by the fireplace, on the carpet, stained with wine and fat, whilst long-dead nobles of deformed grace and cold stare watch them from gilded frames along the crooked walls. We will hose it down later as we shovel them into our machine. Cannibalism. Cannibalism and all kinds of other crazy people stuff. Yeah. Great. There's no other way. I have to go back somewhere. Somewhere I have to go go around the box. Please and thank you. Can I get this? No. Aha. December 1899. I stand and look at myself in the mirror, penis in hand, and my reflection grins at me, and his mouth is full of sulfur mustards. Vain fool, he sneers, are you really so different? Do you genuinely believe your works of evil are any greater than the rest of them? You are simply a weak man, a product of his age, the same as any other. This is Empire, cretin. This is the killing, I do see, the natural result of this social Darwinism. If you are evil, then this world is evil. You just let the blood run in the street rather than hiding it in the poorhouse. You hold the blade and slide it home yourself. You do not pay a man to do this for you where you cannot see it. If you are evil, at least yours is an honest evil, and that alone makes you unburnmensch. Ubermensch. And thus I wash my hands and take to bed. What the hell? Oh good. I don't have to go towards the pig. Do you hear me, Mandus? This is what you plan. Is it though? I mean it is. It is. This is definitely and us his fault. I gotta go down the dark alleyway after the pig. Okay, I just gotta move. I just gotta run, cause the pig is behind me. Ouch! Come on, bud, you can make it. You can make it. You can make it. Ah, uh, shit, fuck, I'm gonna die, ain't I? Yup, I died. Maybe not. Streets and alleys. There are too many of these damnations, these beasts loose on the street to have all to all have come from the engine rooms. As I emerged, I counted three of the damnable pneumatic lifts, which suggests the machine has been planned this for some time. Smuggling routes to the surface all about this neighborhood. If my bearings are correct, beyond the alley I should stand directly over the ignition rooms, and I will wager that if I find a pneumatic there, it will carry me back to the machine's heart. Okay. Which way do I 
go though. That way. Which means there's probably a note or something back this way. No? Not even a little? No notes. All right, back to the lift. And then we go down to the bottom. Oh, I can jump over that. That's convenient. Couldn't do that before. Didn't know bringing about the end of the world gives me superhuman abilities, and there's a little toy block back there for anything that wants to be creepy. Can I get, can I get under here? Yep. Yep, there's stuff. Where'd the teddy bear go? That was the whole express. God damn it. October 25th, 1899. A different strategy for the poor who mistrust the offered hand. The plate of steaming awful. For them, we are become the disappearance in the night. More efficient and less visible to off stragglers and strays is the removal of entire communities in one swoop. Let the ground open under them and fall to the maw the la last month by activating the doors at shortly after midnight on a balmy Saturday. Fifty-seven individual products were obtained in a single catch. I have instructed the workhouse to begin plans for a street festival before the end of summer, to pack out the narrow lanes with a teeming throng with hundreds of pairs of feet. We have begun to assemble a network of false streets and have extended the holding pens in preparation. A second pig line will be added to enable the system to cope with the increased traffic. Lovely. Yep. Shaking and booming. Yep, there's another piggy mask. Any notes back behind the lift? No. Okay. Off. Off we go. Farming the world. A missing vein, I see this now. We must find them, these scrolls, these old words written upon metal rods that glow in the half-light, the dusk, this gloaming. Lowest elevator. It did not take me back to the center of the machine. Counterattack. I have returned. An angel of vengeance, a saboteur once more. I will find a way to stop this vast enterprise of slaughter. Enough destruction opened the heart before, confused the machine enough to spring its locks and secret doorways. I must cause it great shock, stab its eyes, poke its hot wire into its ears, hammer to its teeth, and push glass into every orifice. Then it will gasp, and in that gasp I will scuttle into its throat and stab its heart from the inside.
Danger. Compound X. No naked flames. No unshielded electrics. Why? That's why. Okay. Well, I ain't messing with that just yet. Because down this ladder. Oh, fall damage. This vile concoction, this compound X, it is the arterial blood of this horror. Boiled, it creates the steam to drive pistons. But here it is freezing and flows about the components to keep them cool. Why should it be that the deeper I go, the cooler it becomes? What great process generates such heat that the machine must quench it with a cocktail of blood and effluent? October 27th, 1899. I've been upstairs to bed, to bed, to toss and turn on bloated stomachs, to copulate and puke upon cha chaise lounge, four poster, or dressing table. Collapse at last into the engulfing mattress, drunk and dragged and f drugged and fat, and stupid and senseless. And spring the trap, man piggies, spring the trap. At a pull of a lever, a set of hydraulic pistons and gears are fired, resulting in three walls of steel bars dropping from the ceiling via the canopy to cage the product into the bed, preventing escape. The entire bed is then tilted backwards into the wall by a powerful spring mechanism also fed by the hydraulics. The pressure for the system is created as a byproduct of the vacuum evisceration system employed for mass production elsewhere on the pig line. In this way, we have created our very own bottled revolution. For the moment of the masses is a casual factor in the extermination of the rich. So, literally said, eat the rich? Is that what that was? Coolant pumps. I sense an opportunity. My first strike. Impeding these cogs with a large enough object should jam the flow of coolant, causing a pressure buildup that will split the pipes and rupture the tanks. So, this... Exactly that. Cool. No one else down here for me to do. So now what do I do? More importantly, what happens if I push this button? Does it open? I can't even push it. Okay, so back this way then. I wonder what this does. I think I just killed everything down there. Sweet. But 
That's exactly what it did. It barbecued the pigs. Excellent. Yeah, uh, looks like I can fight coolant pumps. Oops. Oh no. Oh, how awful. Oops. Uh oh. That's not good. There's all that. Hey, stop that. Zappy. Or am I done? Okay, I'm done. I know what you fear. I will rain excrement into your very soul. I will destroy you. You are too low to madness. My great works are almost begun. Wait. Okay. Wait. Where is this? All right, where's the sign that tells me where this room is? Oh, it's just a storage room, I think. Yep, it just has a note. October 27th, 1899. And waste not, walk not, for here the assorted slop and innards are sifted and sorted and enter the world through more channels and means than one could possibly conceive. The product passes by this section of the engine and is driven through the blade, splitting it into two sections, ready for the butcher's block. And in the interim, it is kept in our freezer bays under the house, and the heat produced naturally by the refrigeration process feeds into the pipes and crannies of these rooms, and is the very reason, my dear friend, that we could sit here in shirts and waistcoats but no jackets on a freezing winter's night without a fire in the grate and discuss our great enterprise. The warmth in our bellies and toes may be attributed directly to those bellies and toes even now passing through the system. Fire and blade beneath our feet. Yay. No. Well, what the hell do I... That's where I can't... Alright, that's stupid. Where's... How do I get out of here? Come on. The tri I have to go to the tripery. Is that one dead or asleep? I think it's dead. December 2nd, 1899. Walking away from those temples, that small pile of stones under the rhododendrons, the skulls of innocence under the loose clod, headless rib cages and the cool stone behind the altars, 3,000 miles apart, I trace back my life to this instance. The rain channels eroded in ancient stone, the toxins are already in this damp, this falling water. I hack and wretch and vomit into the sink and grasp the bowl with both hands and stare. There is the plug hole as clear as day, a toy spine, clockwork and intricate, like a child's spine but clockwork. How could that be? How could a child's spine be made like clockwork? I washed it carefully and placed it on the mantel place. By the egg I laid myself under the garden where the children's skulls are buried. I call it my Mexico. Okay. I mean, I pity your kids. I don't, I don't pity you. Come on. Thank you. Stairs, towards the red light of the nursery, 
Sunset in the window like a bleeding sky. The horizon a slit throat. The seeping dark to drain the guilt from us. I am the Jaguar faced man. I am the feathered serpent. This priesthood is mine. The path to the tribery. It is critically injured now, I am sure of that. It jeers no more. I feel it shudder around me. A wounded animal plus pressed flat to the ground. I feel it is afraid of me. And I hate it all the more as I hate myself for unleashing it. My head pounds with blood. My teeth vibrate. I retch and burn with fever. I am an angel of death descending to smother the firstborn for the death of the two that came after. Okay, is there a note down here? I'm having a snack there, boys. Enjoy your man, witch. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, come on, guys. Let's let's not do this. Go away. Go on now. Don't do that again. Thanks. Just what I wanted to see. How the hell did I end up down here? Carry the knife of this factory, the bowl of this mill. I am come to collect you from your fields and your furnaces. I will gather you into the white clouds. I will gather you to me, and I will take you home. God. Just, really? The elevator is really in the river, middle of the pool of blood. The bride is waiting. Round up some orphans and the world will thank you for it. Disappear a whore and a gentleman applauds you. Call a beggar and a lady walks safely again. screens though that's for sure
Soon I will spill that blue water and split the egg, the atom, my soul. And there will be a very great burning that we might make the world clean. Be proud, for this is your doing. Until you steeped me in the blood of your own, I was nothing but rotten architecture. You have made me, and I will make the world anew. Great. You're not really going to get the chance to do that. Not in the grand scheme of things. Oh, yeah, this is. 25th of December, 1899. If you should find this, then you already know all I would tell you. You already know what you have done and what you must now do. Walking away from those temples, that small pile of stones beneath the rhododendrons, the skulls of innocence under the loose cloth, headless ribcages cruelly torn asunder to explode, expose their flowers in the cool stone behind these altars, 3,000 miles away. I trace my life to this instant. Rain channels eroded an ancient stone. The toxins are already in this damp, this falling water. And in that instant, cradling my children's heads in my palms, I knew then I had to unbuild what I myself had constructed. Though even then it was little more than a sickening dream. This machine is ever mine, and it falls to me to redeem it and myself. In my dreams, I walk with my children. I walk tunnels where no human has trod before. I am sure of that. It is just me and him now. Frost forms on my coat sleeves. The deathly still and the freezing air tells me I am close. Any notes? No? Alright. Mandis Processing Company, Oregon, Oregon Distribution Tanks, Maintenance Access. What's that? Well, hopefully whatever it's snacking on will keep it occupied while I'm down here. If not, well poop. I'll just go this way. Great. There went my kid. Oh dear. Wilbur? Wilbur? Shit. Oh, no. thingies, isn't it?
There's no real way to tell where it is. No real way to tell where it is? Oh my god! gone. Does that mean he's gone? Okay. He's gone. For now. He's gone for now. Electrogravit expression south tower. Descending amongst the spirits. Blood, Mandus. We are steeped in blood, you and I. You wear me like a mask, and we will tear the future loose from the ribcage of the present. We will save them. We will save them all. No, we will not. You know, the Holocaust does not equate to saving people. Basically what you're doing. Excellent. Wonder how much longer I have to go. Like I thought I was gonna be able to finish this. is alone. I search for instruction, for advice, for help in my goals, but in return the system mocks me. Simpleton, it says. You must find your own answers now. Mandus, put aside your misguided crusade and let me save them. You may hate me, Mandus, but I have seen the future, your 20th century, and let me tell you this. A far greater slaughter awaits you there. I seek to save the world by blood now, before millions fall beneath history, pushed under by blend, bullet, and gas. Is that what you want? What in the... I didn't know I could teleport. You've got to be sh- Oh, hell. Run 
run for your life, Mandis. Why? And stay there. No more teleporting. Alright, I get it. Standing under this is giving me a heart attack. Hey, look, the orb! How do I get that down? Alright, fine. I will go back this way in hopes that I can find the answer outside of the door. Come on. Get out of my way. That's not the answer. Alright, big ol' circle. Oh, there's a ladder. Edwin, Oswald, and I. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Listen to your heart. You know what you would be. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. What the f There's a dude in there. Uh, uh, okay. Do I go this way? Because it won't let me do anything to him over there. Mandus, please. I am no more evil than you. We sought the same thing. To save humanity. Ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed me in the temple steps. No mother in the century would do to them. Your sons will drown. Lungs full of mud. And 
What? I have stood knee deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into faith. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent, the innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the madness. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their snaps into your ribs. And they will eat your hearts. What in God's name? Oh my God. What? What? What a... I... Gotta push the button. What's it do, though? Great. Well, alrighty. Killed by the machine, then. I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone he had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eye, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. A church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born.
And that is the end. That was an amazing experience. And terrifying. Both glad and sad that it's over. But that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time with a brand new game.